Quadrant. I'm Sunil Pankaj and today we are going to discuss about one of the most trending topics in vector databases and search that is Retrieval Augmented Generation or REG. We will demonstrate a streamlined implementation of REG pipeline using only Quadrant and OpenAI SDK. So the question is what is REG? So LLMs have exploded recently and thus the solution to their problems. Vector databases serves as a long-term memory to these LLMs and REG is the method to retrieve information from external knowledge base for the user query. It reduces the cases of LLMs giving, making up answers that is hallucination and grounds the LLM to factually correct answer. So let's dive in the demo that we have of REG using Quadrant. So before moving on to the walkthrough, let's, uh, let's discuss uh, important terms and the data flow. So the three most important terms are the query, the context, and the prompt. Query is the question asked by the user, whereas context is a piece of information relevant to the user's query uh, retrieved from the knowledge base. This is the uh, data flow. The user asks the query and the query is then used to retrieve a uh, similar context from the knowledge base and which goes with along with the instruction meta prompt that we will uh, learn about in some time how to write a meta prompt which basically consists of the query context and prompt written in a, uh, a, written in a, you know uh, in a uniform way. So this is the data flow. And now let's walk through. So for the demo, I would like to recommend you if you're using Windows, you must uh, install this uh, Docker app. Let's run it. Our first. And also previously I have installed all the packages here. Uh, I have done pip install, quadrant client, fast embed and open AI in an ENV environment, this virtual environment that I created. So this is running. We check the Docker app and it shows Quadrant uh, in use. So, so here you have seen uh, I have imported Quadrant client and uh, have given it this port 633 that we are using. And we also did a uh, get collection. So if the client already has collection, it will just print out the name of the collection. So it seems that we do not have it. So collection list is empty. Now let's add some documents to add to our collection. So equals a list of uh, tools that we can use to make uh, web services for uh, vector databases. So First thing, ran. Okay. Uh, so we are gonna add this in our collection. Let's add client dot add. Uh, collection. I think it's collection name. Mm, let's put it knowledge base this many collection has been made so let's just check it if there is collection yes there is a collection name knowledge base. for normal chat completion so we have imported all these files that are important we have given a prompt what tools should i need to use build a web service uh using vector embedding for search uh, if you recall the documents, uh, it's basically it's related to uh, different kind of tools that is available. Uh, but this particular example doesn't use RG. We are just doing it to compare what kind of answer this gives and then later what kind of answer this will RG give. So let's just run it. And, and yes, here you will give your API key. Before moving on, I just want to be uh, quickly explaining the output of the chat completion. So you get this JSON output with ID object models. 
and choices. And all you have to do is extract this content uh, for for the output. So completion, uh, then we should get, uh, why we should get choices? Uh, choices and it's a list. So we just have to get the first element. And now we can just go on and ask for the messages. Message and we we understood that the completion portion was from the assistant role and we would want to extract the content of the assistant so as you can see the results is quite generic it has uh, given different programming language web framework that you can use and it has nothing to do with the document that we provided initially let's test uh, chat completion with rag and uh, see the difference. So to perform the RG, we need three metadata, right? The prompt, the uh, the context, and the question. Uh, so to extract the context from the uh, knowledge base, we need to, to get at least three relevant information from the knowledge base. So let's check out how to do that. So result is equal to client dot query um, we need three things uh, the collection name uh, we all know that is knowledge base uh, then we need uh, the query text Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the uh, name of the knowledge base was actually underscore. So what we did is we just uh, added all the context to, together. We concatenated uh, it and then we made our meta prompt. If you cannot find the answer, do not pretend you know it. But answer, I do not know. This is to prevent the hallucination part. So the question is still the prompt what tools I need to use to build a web service uh, using ve a vector embedding for search. Because uh, you see, we already talked about that. We should need uh, at least uh, three parts, the, the context, the question, and the prompt. Now the context uh, we have also given uh, from here. Now we will just do the chat completion for this meta -prompt. Okay, so voila, it gives exact context from our knowledge base. And if we want to go through the pipeline again, we've got the context and join that those or concatenated those uh, context. And in the meta prompt, we have given the prompt, the question, the content, the, the chat completion with this meta prompt, and thus uh, the RG pipeline works. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you for joining me for uh, this important topic. In future, we are also covering a lot of important topics, not only related with Quadrant, but also with the AI and LLM. So stay tuned.